Hi, I'm Susan, the VP of Marketing, Business Development and Customer Experience of SPTEL. Thank you for joining us in our Homegrown with the Digital Age Leadership Sharing Series. Today, I'm very glad to have uh, Associate Prof. Alindo from SUDD with us and he's going to share with us in his view how uh, the industry can enhance education uh, with digitalization as well as technology. Thank you Prof. Alindo for Thank joining you. us today. So before we begin, maybe you would like to share a little bit about yourself? Uh, sure. Uh, before I do that, uh, thank you for the invitation. It's my pleasure to be here and sharing a little bit about myself and SUTD on digitalization. Um, I've been in Singapore since 2015. Um, I am associate professor, as you said, with the engineering product development uh, pillar at SUTD. And, uh, Previously, I was in Portugal in another university. I'm a mechanical engineer and uh, I teach things related to design and engineering. A lot of people heard about SUTD, but we'd like to hear from you <laughs> um, a little bit more on the background of SUTD and what it does. SUTD started in 2009 in collaboration with MIT. Um, the collaboration with MIT has ended but we continue to develop our interdisciplinary curriculum and our design-based and project-based uh, curriculum uh, right now. We have collaborations both with MIT and with other universities worldwide. And uh, I'm very, very glad to say that our graduates are very sought after uh, by the market. What's your take on digitalization strategy for SUTD? I think there's no uh, getting away from uh, digitalization right now. What SUTD is doing on digitalization, and it cannot be um, explained very, very simply in very few minutes, mm -hmm. but uh, we do have a number of, of pillars. That's what we call departments in uh, SUTD. One of them is the um, ISTD, Information Science, Technology and, and, uh, and Design. And when it comes to digitalization, ISTD is the pillar that is, is taking the lead in um, teaching and advancing the research in terms of digitalization and things that are related to digitalization. Nevertheless, all of the other pillars in terms of undergrad teaching always uh, encompass some form of, of uh, digital in their process, in their curriculum. Is there any key considerations for SUTD when you are planning um, to enable the smart campus, the smart school of the future? Yes, we have an initiative at SUTD, that's uh, Campus X, that is actually looking at uh, the digitalization or uh, a virtual campus. When we were faced with uh, the COVID pandemic, we could not get the students in class. So we had to teach from a distance. When you have a cohort of, of 500 students mm. uh, trying to get in the class, in the mm. virtual class, right? So that constitutes a problem naturally. Of course, bandwidth is, is, uh, is of the most importance mm. in that uh, situation. This is something that we kind of learned how to do and we can continue doing if, if need be. So uh, teaching at a distance uh, with students, potentially not just in Singapore, but in other parts of the world, why not? If, if there's a stable connection, if that's all in place, then that's feasible. One of the things that we need to take into account is hands-on work, so sure. lab work and, and things like that. Uh, for engineering students, that's almost mandatory to have. If we need to teach them in the lab, then that becomes uh, an issue. How do we bring the students to the lab mm -hmm. without bringing them to the lab? What we can do is we can enable the students to control the machines remotely, uh, which means that it has to be somehow IoT enabled so that the students can experience that from their homes if necessary. So at this moment, is there any tech has been deployed already in the SUTD campus? We are still in the phase of, of looking at what are the possibilities, but definitely we are looking into that. And other things like artificial intelligence in the teaching and the learning of the students. So that also plays a part in data collection and then data analysis. 
What about cybersecurity? Cybersecurity is extremely important, and uh, we are actually working on cybersecurity issues also in uh, in uh, SUTD, especially in the iTrust Center, where we have uh, test beds for uh, different physical installations that mimic real-world installations. Um, and we try to understand how we can detect cyber attacks on data transfer from those physical uh, plants mm -hmm. onto the control units that control the entire plant. We have a number of research projects and we had uh, multiple funding uh, grants to study all of these issues of, of uh, cyber attacks and data corruption uh, during transfer. It's a, it's a very interesting topic and one that design can play a role in. Right now, I think a lot of people talk about this buzzword, sustainability. So what is your take and what is SUTD approach in, in, in this? So sustainability is a must. As far as I know, we don't have another planet. There's a lot of other things that are in research phase, let's say. For instance, one of the things that we've been studying is a kind of a vending machine as well, but one that takes uh, plastic bags and turns those plastic bags into rope that you can then use for multiple uses. Um, we have other research projects that look at what is the effect of uh, increasing sea levels on Singapore economy and, and Singapore as a country. It's about data collection, it's about data analysis, and it's about doing something with the data afterwards. So again, a lot of infrastructure, a lot of IoT. SUDD has a lab called Smart Cities Lab. Uh, would you like to elaborate more on that? So the Smart Cities Lab is actually quite interesting because uh, the problems that we face right now are typically complex problems. When we talk about cities of the future, we have to talk about the economy, we have to talk about data, we have to talk about uh, social problems, we have to talk about labor. So um, the Lee Kuan Yew Center for Innovative Cities, where the Smart Lab, where the Smart City Lab uh, is uh, based, is dealing with these complex problems of the future. There is in particular one project that is going on in the Smart Cities Lab that is the future of cities, actually. And specifically, they are looking at how digital plays a part in the future. Uh, not only from a personal perspective, but from a community perspective, from a regional perspective, from a city's, from a country's perspective, from company's perspective because we're all in, in it together, right? And we need to transfer data from uh, person to person, from company to company, sometimes from country to country. So what would you say in the long run, how you incorporate technology in the curriculums or in the environment in the campus itself? So I would say that technology is already in SUTD's DNA uh, because we were kind of, we're, we're a young university, so we were born with technology, right? Uh, we didn't have to adopt technology as an afterthought. Mm -hmm. But uh, being a also a design university, what design tells us is that technology needs to be implemented with all the stakeholders, with uh, the view of all the stakeholders. Uh, humans use technology. It's not technology that uses technology. So we always have to have this approach that the human should be in the center of the technology. Flexibility is key here, so people want flexibility in everything they do. They want it when they want it, not before, not after. So, um, any words of wisdom for um, people like yourself in the educational uh, industry? I really believe that the future is smiling at us. Whatever we're evolving to, I think we're evolving to a better place. So uh, I think SUTD and all other universities play a huge part in that. I think we're getting to a better place. That's good. Yeah, nice talking to you, Prof. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so for the much. invitation.